Previously on Day of the Tentacle, Purple grew arms and took over the world. Hoagie was sent 200 years into the past. Laverne was sent 200 years into the future, while Bernard stayed in the present. And now the conclusion, with your host... Hello. Coops? Well, today, I am going to be playing Day of the Tentacle. The last episode was pretty terrible, which is why Coops was sacked. And I, Bernard, am going to take over for today. <laughs> I can give you some good insight on the little uh, ins and outs of what went on. <laughs> Me and Laverne, I, I won't say too much, but I took her girlhood. <laughs> it was exciting. I lasted all of two minutes. <laughs> That's a record. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. So, we're in the kennel. Right. Hmm. Now then. Where did Coops leave off? I think he did terribly. Okay, so the tentacle chart. Now, I remember that. <laughs> that was, uh, quite an interesting read. Really. So let's talk to this guard. Oops. <laughs> Okay. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Oh, her voice still gives me tingles. <laughs> oh, um. Uh. I, I have, have to go, go to, to the, the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, alright. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. So let's go over this way and down the path. And I do believe that I need to give that to Hoagie. Uh-huh. Um, so let's go to Hoagie. And you can uh, pick that up. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> okay. So we'll go over to the inn. Over here and inside. Oh, hi, Mom. Ah, <sighs> uh, oh yeah, I forgot what I was doing just then, but don't worry, I got it. Way. I have given Laverne the can opener and the crank. Yeah. Okay, I I'm done peeing now. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. I used to I used to call them the testicles <laughs> because that's an insult. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, can, can you let you, me out? Mr. Please. Tentacle Guy? Walk. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Up the flag. And we 
can use it. She wore that costume when we, uh, you know, did the, the deed. <laughs> I wonder whether I can pick this crank up again. I can. Okay. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to... There's no way to open it. There we go. So now we can roam free. Because I am a tentacle. Ooh. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike she has humans, so you have been us. very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Did she just say all she needs is a human? Wow. I don't mean to gloat, but I will volunteer. <laughs> I wonder whether I can pick that picture it's up. It's hung sort of high. I might strain myself. She wasn't saying that. Okay. So, now I need to find a time capsule. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. The time capsule. There we go. We just need to open that. And there it is. The vinegar. That's all in here for now. Roller skates. Take a walk. Gift for me. Great Scott! You're purple. Uh, um. Yes. <laughs> ah, here it comes. My finest hour. I put uh, the name tag onto the mummy. For some reason, I, I don't know why, but that seemed like a good idea at the time. Meanwhile... Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir! I can take it! I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass! Suck can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Oh, ick! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. He 
calls us stupid. <laughs> well, rude. I'm going to cook the hamster now. So, there we go. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. Oops. He's okay. It's fine. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Wow. Well, okay then. Huh. Oh dear. Poor little critter. There's a black cat. Okay. I'm going to use this extension cord. There we go. Now I just need to get down there. Somehow. Hmm. Hmm. This ought to be good. <laughs> I wonder if that's a reference. What do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. <laughs> Another specimen. I have no idea what I'm going to use a cat disguised as a skunk for, but we will find out right after these commercials. My, 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 who's this handsome guy? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go and burst the clown. I sent the scalpel from Laverne to myself, and now I am going to pop the clown. Stupid thing, I hate that thing. <laughs> I will pick that up. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so since sending uh, the the laughing box over to my lover, <laughs> now I can make my mummy beautiful. So I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Hmm. Harold's got some amazing hair. The mummies has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control, whereas Harold's flows and bounces with every subtle turn of his head. Yes, Harold wins. If only the mummies was a little bit better. Agreed. 
I think I know what to do. I'm not sure where that meatball came from, but okay. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Agree. Huh. Kill Harold. I never took Laverne for the murderous type. Okay, let's go up to the roof. I need to see Dr. Fred. Oh dear. This will not do at all. It always helps to have some string. Oh. Hey, where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Don't try anything sneaky. Okay. Use the rope with the pulley. Huh. I need to replace Dr. Fred. I can't remember how I did that. But I guess I did. Oh, I remember that. Oh. That wasn't good. <sighs> Sorry, Cousin Tad. Ted is red. See red Ted. That's the Everything time okay I there. shared the bed with mommy. Well, try and keep it down, okay? See what I did there. <laughs> there is nothing attached to it. Okay. I don't think it's going to work from here. Maybe. Nah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I remember that. What's a couple of bruises? Dr. 
proudest moment. Are you moment. okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Hmm. I might slosh it all over his face. Well, I will use the funnel then. That's exaggerated. That didn't happen. Damn good coffee. Brilliant, what a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I don't understand what was wrong with exploding catnip. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Now I can pick up the flag gun. And... Next, I am going to swap it. I hope. Look, a three-headed monkey. Huh? <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh. oh, never mind. I remember seeing that. I was always a big fan of Monkey Island. Time to get me an exploding cigar. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want another cigar? Yes, I do. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Okay. Mr. Washington, you're about to have an exploding cigar. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smug? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Of course, Mr. Washington. I found your teeth, Mr. Washington. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. 
You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. Now I can take the blanket. Hmm, I just realized. Close the door. There's the keys. I remember doing that. I stole the keys and I let a bad man into the car. Oh well. Perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Drat. Now, I can finally get that gum off the floor. That was some tricky gum. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. There we go. Surprisingly, that gum tastes good. Cinnamon flavor. Mm, my favorite. Okay, Mr. Fatty. Time for you to get off that sweater. Soaking wet. That may have been sweat. Okay, let's put it in the dryer. And this is the part where I became a vandal little bit. Hey, my needs were greater. I was saving the world. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. That was a good one. Oh, nineteen seventy seven. I still have that somewhere around here. Look, I still have it. Some 200 years later, it finishes. <laughs> okay. It's a mini sweater. Ooh, cute. Okay. This ought to warm him there up. There we go. Cute little guy. I have to say, I wondered what that was used for. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. 
Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm a healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Score one for Laverne. And one for Laverne is one for me. <laughs> okay. Let's win this hair contest, shall we? Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. <laughs> wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. Let's see if I win this one. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best left? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. Huh. 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 It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Indeed it is. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite <laughs> Edison. <laughs> so sad. No, he looks tired after all he's done. Huh. Wow. Rude. But I got a dinner certificate and a trophy. So. Let's get rid of that guard. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Wait, what? <laughs> You're free. Free to do what? Free to 
to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big yeah. deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being That's hunted for the rest me. of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Hmm. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. She the woods also are said filled that. with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. That gives me an idea. Hate skunks, huh? Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> You can't do this. This is an escape proof facility. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? <laughs> That's right. Okay. We're in. Hmm. Okay, let's use the extension cord with the outlet. We're almost there. And I'm going to use the hamster with the generator. Huh. Well, that wasn't called for. Get out of here. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Oops. There's a hamster in there, I think, or at least pieces of one. That almost made me puke. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> now. Get on there and stay on there. Well? Look at Dead. that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. Like the time when she put me on one. <laughs> hmm. I will take that. Because why not? Hmm. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. Absolutely. Okay. Time to go home. We will be reunited at last. My love, Laverne. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> Ah, Lieutenant, I'm glad you're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. And I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. I'll Before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. Uh -oh. I've invented the diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, don't. 
Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. I have to wait for Bernard and Hoagie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Hoagie once told me that he smoked George Washington. I never really understood what he meant until now. <laughs> he, he said, I totally smoked him. That's my best impression. <laughs> Was it good? I hope so. Maybe you should leave me a like for that impression of my, my hoagie impression. I think that would be really nice of you. the idiot who started the fire. Hmm. No way, it could be on fire by now. Well, that's very true. It's could. blocked up with somebody's bed. Ah, excellent. Has the I need that for my super battery. And uh, he said he needs some ink. I guess Hoagie took the quill ink. That one. Hmm. Why not? Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look <laughs> lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Hmm. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. That was easy. It's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. Zero power, huh? Wow, I know how to give it some juice. <laughs> Ready for another <clears throat> brush with destiny? Yes, I am. Sure, why not? Splendid. Mm hmm Let me just, um... Slip that into the pocket. No! Okay. Hold on. There we go. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> We got it. It's fine. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. Ow. Oh. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Okay. 
I'm sure there was a joke in there somewhere, but I just don't get it. And there we go. Ready to go. Now, just for me. <laughs> now, Dr. Fred, you will sign this contract. Dr. Fred, what do we do now? We have to buy a diamond and plug it into the chronogen. Now, sign it. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Sign it or I'll get real mad. I'll get and mad. You what? Not be my friend anymore? <laughs> Absolutely. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Good God, no! Those things are horrible money-leeching death traps! Well, there's a delivery man upstairs with a carton of easy listening eight tracks for you. He says you have to pay for them. Ah, not again! Unless you sign this refusal form immediately. <laughs> Thanks! That was a close one! Well, good luck! There we go. Now I will send that to Hoagie. And hopefully, that will have an effect on time. Whatever yes, could be. what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. Spock. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Oh. Mm, no, I have other plans. I am going to buy a diamond. But now I can't get to the phone because fat ass is in the way. <laughs> Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one. Well, I guess there's one next door anyway. <laughs> Let's do this. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Wanda um, was very I have a good numbered speaking. Swiss bank account. What's I called the her back. number, sir? Um, we had phone sex. It's eight four six four two seven three five three two seven. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Hmm. Now that's service. They went bankrupt the next day. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. Right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond, anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How Absolutely. heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. 
great. Oh, wow. Hoagie. I'm so yeah. happy to... Hi, Laverne. Wow, <laughs> I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge o -matic. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Say what? Now, hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get first Ow. Uh oh don't worry guys this time I know I can stop him uh oh I guess we better do something oh, dear let's go no wait you can't all go in the same stall yes we can Didn't you see the fly <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. It's a bit We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there would be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Green Tentacle behind you. What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We are going to turn off the sludge o and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I, was I right. need to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojar. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. That's a paradox. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o -Man. In theory, that couldn't happen, but... It happens to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. This is where it all got a little bit awkward. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Hmm. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? He was real dumb. Okay, so I'm going to go into this room. How? Aha! Uh oh. Uh oh is right. Take that. I did this. it on purpose. Drat. Hmm. There, I think I've almost got it working. Run 
through the mouse hole. It's way too high! There we go. Now we have a bowling ball. Hey! Where'd he go? Let's close that door. Run! Okay. Look at them all nice and neatly lined up. Like... Pins. I enjoyed this. Great! Right. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, Me too. let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. <laughs> That's not funny. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. Maybe we I've can already talk out of this. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? I made humans are our point. oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. But humans also created the sludge matic which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? Who? Fred? But there's only one of him. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? I don't know. Are you more or less intelligent than the Purple Tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. It certainly would. Oh, drat. Ah, uh, surely we can talk this out. Talk? Surely. Wait! That's you haven't right. heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Siberia? Success. Our work here is done. Now we can go home.
Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting no, sort of true. used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Anything for Help you, us, Laverne. Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing, huh? That's right. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Yeah. Oops. Starry who? And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. That is my adventure for Day of the Tentacle. Now, I do believe that Coops promised you that he would do Maniac Mansion. Now, that, well, that, that wasn't a great time in my life, I'm not gonna lie. But, I guess we could do that. Maybe next time. But until now, Goodbye in game. Ah, uh, how does Coops do it? Ah, uh, thank you for watching and so long. That's not right. Ah, uh, bye. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Hmm. No. Wow, this is awkward. Ah, uh, maybe I could, um... Uh, just, uh, There's nothing around here that I can use, uh... Oh, LucasArts. That's nice. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Well, I I guess that's all. <laughs>